Hello again. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Now, I could go to the Forest of Fallen Giants, but again, there's no reason to go there. So, uh, let's see. I suppose... Well, since we're in Magula already, let's get our Silver Cat ring on. Ladersmith Gillen again comes here. And I think you could pay him like. I think like 20,000 souls or something. To, uh. Build you some ladders or something like that. Wait! The name's Gilligan. All right. I have it. You want to go down there? Fine. You need or you. This is how they intend for you to well, go down there. I guess. But basically, the ladders don't help actually help you get down to the very bottom. They just help you get further down than you could otherwise go by jumping if you don't have the silver cat ring or if you don't know how fall damage works. The only things I sell are miniatures. I mean, cheers for that. And if I remember right, the reason I like setting up this ladder is because it takes you to another ladder. Which we should be able to help ourselves with. No reason for me to remember how to fall down exactly to the the point. But yeah, remember the giants in the depths, or or uh, not depths. Uh, well, what do you call it? Black Gulch. Soul vertex. That's nice, I guess. Which tree stuff? That's nice, I guess. And great lightning spear. That would be great if I was a miracle user. But I've opted to be strong and stupid. Now, let's see. These two things, the dragon talent and the frozen flower, they're for DLC areas. So, let's see, Dragon Talon. A terribly worn Dragon Talon. Legend has it that in the deepest reaches of the Black Gulch, behind a door locked from the inside, is a magnificent city built for a great slumbering dragon. This Talon clearly dates to ancient times, but great vitality emanates from it still. Frozen Flower. A stone ornament shaped like a flower, cold enough to dampen the greatest heat. Opens the door to a new path from the Shrine of Winter, found on the road to the Great Castle. So, these are two of them. So, uh, the Frozen Flower should take us to Elium Lois, I think. And the Dragon Talon would take us to, I think, the sunken city of Shula, or something like that. It's my best guess at the pronunciations. Now, there's, like, one more thing we can do with these systems here, I think. Maybe it was further up, though. It's been so awfully long. There's another boss I missed. But it's actually further up. Let's see. So I guess let's homeward back to Magula. Take a rest. Hey, 
Don't even. Well, a vet just. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, well, you just find them. Eh, uh, here you are, my. F oh, come on. You're hopeless. Oh, I should have listened to them. Huh? No, I wasn't born here. I'm, I'm from a wee bit. I'm from a wee bit out west. That's all. Seen some rough times. I think I'll settle down for a while. Cheers for that. <laughs> now, you see, each ladder you build goes a little further down. The one you pay 500 souls for, that'll save you a little bit of fall damage, but it's kind of a dick move on his part. I think we want to fall on that rock ledge right there, because I'm pretty sure that's a different rock ledge. Whoa. That's the one we want. But, uh... <laughs> guess even with the silver cat ring, I need to actually be intelligent about falling there. Let's see... Let's get naked. And then let's also pop one of these. I know in Dark Souls 3 your fall damage, I think it calculates off of your inbred state. So like a fall you might be able to barely survive while you're inbred. You know, you won't ever be able to survive it when you're not. But uh That's kind of whatever. I don't know if it works the same in this one. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Change it, uh, things up a little. Nah, nah, I don't like those boots. Let's see. Varangian legs, maybe? Yeah, they're okay. Let's see. Grim Warrior? No, no, no. Royal Swordsman. Yeah, yeah, Royal Swordsman will do. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Grave of the Saints, huh? I don't remember if you can upgrade your armor in this one. You probably can, I just don't remember. Oh, we got a bunch of Pharaoh's Lockstones, huh? Let's get on a ring that'll actually help a little bit. Yeah. 
Uh, can I have my rock back? Yeah, there's like some water down here. are waking up. Try dwarf. Got some big skeletons down here. But only rats. Looks like the rats are the king. Hey, wait a minute. Okay. Let's see. Where's that sticky white stuff? Yeah. Or aromatic ooze, whatever they want to call it. Now this boss really tripped me up the first time I played through Dark Souls 2. Uh, I was confused. Because it would seem like it's a, you know, normal, uh... ...thing, but... What you want to look for is the rat that has a very distinctive mohawk. And all the other rats don't matter, and, and they will spawn infinitely. So. Whenever Mr. Mohawk gets out here, So the health bar appeared, so he should be getting out here soon. There he is. He can inflict uh, petrification and toxic. So. Gotta be a little bit careful. But yeah, see? Shouldst thou forbear, swearest thou? Then we need console. He gets really happy if you're like, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll... 
I'll make love in the club or whatever. And... I don't remember how you're supposed to like get that body down there, but oh well. Some more augmentation stones. Like maybe it was as simple as being naked and just doing a jump, but I don't know. Yeah, at this point we can just homeward on back and get out of here because, you know, there's nothing else for us down here. Got a stupid hot Viking. Oh, there you are. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you, come to me. Sure, why not? Uh. here so come and see me when you're in town of course of course there's always time for booty actually there's not always time for booty sadly but, well, all good things in life have a time cost although everything in life has a time cost what the hell am I talking about also, that dude gave us a scimitar, right? Let's see. Got a Mastodon Greatsword from a box in Drangleic Castle. Greatsword of the Primal Knights that defend Drangleic Castle. The Bruce and Mighty Primal Knights wield the sword like a feather light twig, but to ordinary warrior, it is a chore to even hold up owing to its great weight. Terrible experiments were said to have been taken place in a hidden manner in Drangleic. The mastermind presiding over the deeds was known as Aldia. I, so I guess that means he made Babar and his cohorts out of uh, people. And here we have the Melu or Melu scimitar that Gilligan gave us. Nothing notable about this weapon except perhaps the luxurious jewels embedded in the hilt. If your aim is to appear dazzling on the battlefield, this might just do the trick. It's a curved sword and it swings pretty quickly, I guess. So. You like your attacks to have flair. I mean, its damage isn't really that much worse than. You know, it's In fact, it's better than the, the starting broadsword, so. It's not like it's a terrible weapon. This Mastodon Greatsword for supposedly being a really big sword, not really that big.
Let's see. Suppose we can continue on through Drank Lake Castle now. So many bonfires I have yet to go to. Let's stop the video there, and next time I'll re resume by talking to Ben Art there.